Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, with our main uh, topic today. We're discussing today uh, the Egyptian-French uh, uh, relations uh, and uh, uh, the, especially the bilateral uh, ties between uh, the two countries uh, and uh, the historical uh, relations between the two countries and also uh, the partnership uh, and agreements uh, in the field of economy and culture. And to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to host today uh, Mrs. Uh, Amira Sayed, uh, the journalist. Welcome, Mrs. Said. Thank you so much. Mr. Said, let's have a look uh, at the background of the rela relations between mm -hmm. Egypt and France. Yeah, um, um, actually, the Egyptian state uh, under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah Sisi is giving a top priority to give extra boost to bilateral ties between uh, the two countries. And we have seen there is um, a remarkable growth in relations and cooperation in uh, diverse domains, economic, military, and um, um, in different uh, domains. Uh, for example, recently, the Minister of International Cooperation, Rania El Mashat, she has met um, uh, the French ambassador to Egypt, Stephanie uh, Roumati, to discuss the means of uh, the financing the development project here in Egypt and uh, we can say that now for example the total investment of France in Egypt has hit like between six and seven billion uh, uh, euros and also this year the trade of vol uh, the volume of trade exchange between the two countries hit like 2.5 uh, billion euros so there is a remarkable progress in the economic ties and we have seen like many French companies like Addison uh, Schneider Electric they are uh, planning to further expand their activities in Egypt and all these uh, economic, um, uh, all this uh, economic cooperation reflects um, the joint vision of both countries to further develop the bilateral ties. Yes, uh, so uh, Mrs. Uh, Sayed, uh, also there is um, a great uh, cooperation between Egypt uh, and France in uh, uh, um, the military level. Uh, there were uh, na uh, naval uh, uh, maneuvers, yeah. maritime yeah. Uh, maneuvers uh, yeah. uh, recently, uh, and it started uh, um, uh, on in January 2019. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, definitely now uh, both states, Egypt and France, they are giving top priority <coughs> to the stability and security of the Eastern Mediterranean region and this has been reflected and embodied in the joint military exercise for example recently Medusa Tan a joint military exercise that's been implemented b between Egypt Greece Cyprus and also with the participation of the French and the United Arab Emirates uh, forces all these activities reflect the intention and the uh, future plan of the two countries to further um, uh, consolidate and cement the, uh, the military cooperation to maintain the stability and security in, in the region yes yeah. yes mm -hmm. So, Mrs. Said, what about uh, the cooperation in the field of illegal migration? Yeah, definitely now the illegal migration is a global uh, challenge and yes. Egypt has um, definitely, um, we have like many initiatives to raise public awareness of the dangers of illegal migration. We have the Ministry of Migration, really it exerted many great efforts in order to uh, face such a uh, uh, phenomenon. So it, both sides also cooperated in, uh, in this field to curb the rates of uh, illegal migration. And as I told you that this is also a reflection of a joint vision between the two countries that is based on uh, stable and we can say balanced stances towards numeral uh, issues. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what about the cultural and educational level? Yeah, uh, um, actually uh, there is a growing process, uh, progress in the cultural ties between uh, Egypt and uh, France and we have, uh, as you mentioned in the very beginning, that we have like a historical uh, uh, ties, if we can say those who like, um, if you can talk about Rosetta Stone and so on, so, so we have like uh, historical ties between the two countries and culture is a soft power, uh, it knows no barriers, so uh, both countries they are keen on boosting the uh, cultural ties in order also to face terrorism, if you want to face terrorism we have to resort also to the soft power in education there are many inve French investments here in Egypt in the educational uh, sector and by the way this was also was one of the main topics that were discussed by uh, um, uh, the international minister um, uh, Rania El, uh, international cooperation minister Rania El Mashat with the French ambassador they discussed the means of increasing uh, funds to the educational projects that are being implemented here in Egypt yeah. yes yes um, uh, also uh, Mrs. Sayed <coughs> recently 
uh, Fra uh, the French uh, Foreign Minister uh, Jane Yves uh, Le Droyan mm -hmm. uh, met uh, with the f um, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi and also met with the um, uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you are talking about the regional and international <coughs> issues, um, for example, if we dealt with the Libyan crisis, we have seen like Egypt and France, they adopted the same vision. They, both key, they are keen on maintaining unity, stability and territorial integrity of the Libyan crisis and also Foreign Minister, the Egyptian Foreign Minister and also the French Foreign Minister stressed the paramount importance of reaching a comprehensive political yes, solution. Uh, recently, when there, whenever there is uh, talks between the two countries, uh, yeah. uh, the Libyan uh, file is high on the agenda of the talks. Yes, it's given a top priority actually. Um, and both countries and e Egypt uh, and even if we are talking about uh, the France uh, stance, it adopted the outcomes of Cairo declaration uh, to reach a comprehensive political solution in, in Libya. So that's what I told you, that uh, the bilateral ties between the two countries, it is based on mutual respect and also common interests. So we have like Egypt and France, they are keen on like maintaining the stability and um, uh, in the region. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So let's have a look at the historical uh, background between the relations. When did it start long ago? The yeah. Egyptian uh, French. Uh, yeah, actually, it started many, many years ago. If, as I mentioned, that if we are talking about Rosetta uh, Stone, the, the, the French who like um, yes. who interpreted. So, so it's it's it. We ha we understand that there is a um, <coughs> we can say strong uh, ties that date back to many, many years ago, and we have to build uh, on this. And um, actually, the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah he stressed that several times that Egypt and France has a strategic uh, partnership at all uh, uh, domains so um, and also um, if we uh, we highlighted the recent or uh, last year's visit by the French president to Egypt in January 2019 he also stressed the historical ties between uh, the two countries and we can say like the exchange of official visits it also reflect the strategic and the growing um, uh, uh, partnerships and uh, cooperation between the two countries that open new horizons for also cooperation in the upcoming period yes yes yeah. uh, so as you've mentioned the um, uh, the historical point of the Rosetta Stone, of course. Yeah. So, what about the um, uh, the French tourism uh, uh, mm -hmm. to uh, Egypt, the flow of uh, tourism? And yeah. also, let me uh, raise a point, uh, uh, an example um, uh, that Egypt also is uh, keen to show. Uh, the uh, Egyptian uh, uh, monuments in exhibitions that were held mm -hmm. in uh, Paris. Yeah. For example, recently, um, um, months ago, uh, there were uh, an exhibition in uh, Paris showing uh, the belongings uh, of uh, the uh, mm -hmm. young uh, King Tutankhamun yeah. before it comes back to Egypt and stays forever in the Grand mm -hmm. Egyptian Museum. What's your comment? Yeah, uh, definitely the Egyptian government is also giving a top priority to revive tourism. You know now, uh, due to the outbreak of COVID-19, yes. tourism sector is hardest hit by the outcomes and ramifications uh, uh, of this uh, pandemic. So Egypt now is trying to revive the tourism sector and definitely uh, French tourists, they constitute like a, we can say a considerable portion of tourism influx here in, in Egypt. And um, uh, as you mentioned that Egypt also is keen on promoting tourism by participating in exhibitions, uh, not only in France and also in Germany. So, uh, but based on the bilateral ties and strategic relationships between the two countries, countries this also have a positive impact yes. on uh, tourist influx here in Egypt. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, Mrs. Said, uh, how do you see also the cooperation in uh, several communications and information uh, technology in the fields of uh, information uh, technology between uh, Egypt and France? Yeah, uh, definitely now Egypt has taken many steps forward in digital transformation. Yes. Actually all the countries now they are forced to switch to digital transformation especially in the light of the precautionary measures and lockdown <coughs> that has been imposed uh, following the outbreak of COVID-19. Uh, so Egypt is also keen on benefiting from the uh, successful experiences of other countries and Egypt um, uh, really um, like um, we can say appreciates the uh, French experience in digital transformation, artificial intelligence and this has been reflected also in signing like uh, cooperation and protocols and agreements between uh, uh, the two countries and I think that there will be more steps in this field, there will be more agreements um, uh, in this uh, domain in the upcoming period. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, uh, let me, um, uh, we would like to shed more light on the exchange of educational uh, 
um, 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 educational um, uh, courses uh, and mm. students. Yeah. B uh, also, in the recent meeting between the International Minister of International Cooperation, Rani al Mashat, and the French ambassador, they discussed, uh, uh, for example, teaching the French language in uh, the public schools here in, in Egypt. They also, yes. it will how to increase funds for the educational projects and training programs um, uh, uh, in Egypt. Uh, so, this also came within the framework of the state's broader strategy to develop of the bilateral ties in the in diverse domains including the educational sector definitely yes yeah. yes yes so uh, concerning the diplomatic ties and the political uh, ties uh, your evaluation um, yeah um, if we analyze the um, activities that have been in the last period and also the um, statements of the two presidents uh, there is uh, there is like we can say that we can expect that there will be further cooperation in the upcoming uh, period there will be more investment French investments in here in Egypt uh, uh, if on economic level for example every year we have seen that the French investments here increased uh, uh, in Egypt and it's expected to further increase in the upcoming period on military level we we have seen that there will be also um, anticipated more military joint Exp um, uh, exercises between the two countries on cultural level as well and uh, if we are talking about transport French like m play a key role in financing the third line of the underground which is a major project here in Egypt so um, based on all these uh, um, joint projects we can uh, say that in the upcoming period we will witness more progress in the bilateral ties and we there will be more fostering for partnerships between the two countries yes yeah. uh, so what about the cooperation between the two countries the fr Egypt and France in the fields uh, uh, of uh, providing uh, support for inter entrepreneurship yeah, definitely now entrepreneurship is a given is given a top priority in all countries. It's now uh, we can say it's part and parcel of uh, the national uh, economy, and we have to support entrepreneurship. So um, the French um, uh, state also there are were many funds for, to support the SMEs, small and medium sized uh, uh, um, enterprises here in Egypt, and this was also part of the discussions between the Ministry of International Cooperation and the French ambassador how to further support uh, uh, the startups. We know that the financial sector is considered the key challenge facing all entrepreneurs here in Egypt so it's very important to provide them with funds and also we have uh, 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 and France also expresses its keenness on further supporting the entrepreneurs here in, in Egypt yeah so how do you see the good cooperation uh, uh, and coordination between Egypt and France in helping to ease and preserve stability uh, to uh, the Middle East region and especially in Syria yeah. Uh, uh, look, as I told you now, both countries, they are giving a priority to keep the stability in the eastern Mediterranean uh, uh, region. So um, uh, we have dealt with the Libyan crisis in Syria. This is the same uh, uh, position. Both countries, they adopt like balanced uh, uh, stances towards this issue. They refuse like any foreign interference uh, in, uh, in, this, in the region to keep the unity and the stability in the region. And even uh, and Egypt has stressed several times that it's also giving a top priority to the stability of the region to combat terrorism uh, so both countries they have the same intention to um, to maintain this stability and this has been reflected in the actions of the two uh, countries yeah so um, could we expect in the the coming period as we are uh, uh, about Egypt is about to uh, be a uh, opening uh, inaugurating uh, the grand egyptian uh, museum uh, a large mm. number of uh, f flow of uh, uh, the uh, um, french tourism to egypt mm. yeah back tourism so we have mentioned that both countries and um, uh, also uh, france is supporting uh, egypt and reviving its uh, uh, tourism and also the french tourists they, co they constitute a considerable portion of the tourist influx here in egypt so definitely um, um uh, the opening and the inauguration of the grand egyptian uh, uh, museum Museum, it's, it's highly expected to attract many tourists, not only from France, from all across the world. It's, it's, it's a major event and it will make headlines uh, worldwide. So definitely, and the, we can say the political and economic ties between uh, the two countries in the progress. So this will have a direct and a positive impact on the tourist sector, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mrs. Said, how do you see, uh, for example, here we have uh, in Egypt uh, the French uh, Cultural uh, Center. Yeah. How do you see the importance of uh, uh, 
uh, when each country uh, opens a cultural center mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Egypt, and especially uh, France, in exchanging uh, uh, culture and getting people uh, yeah. to come to know each other and to come to know mm -hmm. the culture of each other um, um, in the cinema, in the poet, uh, yeah. uh, through making uh, seminars for poets uh, from Egypt, uh, yeah. from France. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, in addition to the uh, growing political ties, we have public diplomacy. In public diplomacy, we resort to culture as a soft power to bring peoples closer. So definitely the French Cultural uh, Center here in Egypt, it has like um, carried out many events to let the Egyptian people know more about uh, uh, the French uh, uh, culture to correct misconceptions. Um, and also Egypt here also is like opening doors for the French, uh, uh, um, if you can say, um, artists and designers also to um, spread the culture of their country. So definitely boosting the cultural ties is part and parcel of boosting the bilateral ties between uh, the two countries and the role of cultural centers here in Egypt cannot be uh, overlooked. They are, like, they are helping to find more common grounds between uh, the peoples of the two countries, definitely. Yeah. Why is uh, France a very important um, uh, partner in the eco economy for Egypt? Yeah, uh, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, if we are uh, analyzing the figures, now we have like um, uh, we can say that the investments of uh, French uh, of French companies here in Egypt it hit like uh, between six and seven billion euros, and also in this year, if we are talking about uh, the recent official figure that has been released by the Egyptian government, in this year the total uh, trade volume between the two countries hit 2.5 billion uh, uh, yes. euros, and many French companies are planning. There are around 160 French companies here in Egypt that are operating and offered many job opportunities for yes. Egyptians. So uh, definitely the economic economic ties is growing and it's um, we can say it's part and parcel also of the vision of the Egyptian leadership here to give extra push to bilateral ties. Yes, yeah. uh, uh, yes. let me add uh, also that uh, the trade exchange between uh, the two uh, sides or the two countries uh, have uh, reached 3 billion euros uh, mm -hmm. according uh, to the managing director of the French Chamber of uh, Commerce in uh, uh, Egypt. Yes, yes. Uh, this is I think um, um, regarding uh, the first nine months of uh, of this year yeah it had this number and it's further uh, it's to be a uh, further increase in the upcoming period yes yes yeah. uh, well um, I thank you very much for your valuable information thank and you. for your time um, yeah. Mrs. Uh, Amira Said the, the journalist thank thank you very much for uh, uh, coming today to thank you very thank much you. Well, uh, with this, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our program, uh, Breakfast Show. Thank you very much for watching.